that is awesome to have this geographic brain. church and of my life. Second to my deacons. I'm sorry, second to Dr. Zeno. Then my deacons, my deaconess, ministry of music, choir, Mother Green, and my nanny, and everyone here assembled. God has been good to each and every one of us. And I think we cut God short when we don't realize and we don't understand how good God has been. When you think about you, we didn't have to wake you up this morning. Your bed could have been your cooling board this morning. Your alarm clock didn't wake you up this morning. It was God's grace that got you. He told Paul when Paul began to complain. He said, Paul, you worried about a thorn in your flesh, but Paul, you missing the important part. Paul, you still have your life. Paul, my grace, my grace is sufficient. My grace is all you need to get through, to make it through this, this life. And my mercy, my mercy endures not for a short period of time, but he said that my mercy endureth forever. God is, God is good. If you have your Bibles with you, turn with me to 1 John in the New Testament. And we want to look at chapter 2, verses 18 and 19. First John. It's the third book from the end. And we want to look at chapter 2, verses 18 and, and 19, and I won't be before you for long. When you finally will you respond by saying, Amen. Amen. All right, God is good. And it reads thus it says, little children. It is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now and there are many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have no doubt continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. And the word of God is, is already blessed. Let us bow our, our heads, dear Father. Amen. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, first of all, dear God, for giving us life. Amen. Thank you for a portion of health and, and strength, dear God. Thank you for allowing your son to shine upon our face just one more time. Thank you for allowing us to be in your service today, dear God. Dear Father, we thank you for everyone here assembled. We pray for those that are sick. We pray for those that are lost, dear God, that you touch them in a mighty way that they might come running saying, what must we do to be saved? Amen. Dear God, I ask that I decrease, dear Father, as you increase. Dear God, and not that they hear me, but that they hear you through me, dear God. Use me right now as a vessel of thy divine will. Yes. Dear God, we ask these prayers and blessings in your son Jesus' name. And for his sake we pray. And all the saints of God responded by saying amen. 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 amen, amen. 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 You may be seated. 
John was one of Jesus' last surviving disciples. John was the disciple whom Jesus loved and had a lot of love for. The purpose of John's letter was to let the believers all over know church that we are living in the last days. Time that we know will soon be time no more. I told you last week, don't let the doors of salvation close upon you. Don't let God catch you Amen. off guard because he said when he come back, when he return, he said that he's coming as a thief in the night. He's going, you're going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. You won't have time to get it right. The Bible says in the book of Revelation, if you are just Stay just. If you are righteous, stay righteous. If you are unjust, stay unjust. If you are filthy, stay filthy. If you are holy, stay holy because you will not have time. You will not have time to, to change. John wrote to no particular church. This was a pastoral letter that John wrote. He wanted the people of God to be vigilant. He wanted them to know and to understand what to look for in the last days. That's why we have to be vigilant, church. All right. We gotta ever be so vigilant. I always tell you it's not, it's not the people. Yes, Lord. But it's what's in the people. Says we struggle with sin, every one of us in here. Struggles with sin. Struggle with self-righteousness. Last week we learned in Sunday school that yes, God's people had a zeal, but they had a zeal that was not according to the knowledge of God, but according to their own knowledge. Yeah. Oh, we get it twisted. We get it, we get it messed up. Oh my God. Wanna twist God's word. And make it fit our, our lifestyle and think that we are doing the right thing. Well, in our own self-righteousness, I come to tell you this morning that sometimes when you're in your self-righteousness, doing the right thing just ain't doing the right thing at all. Yeah. Yeah. Church, you got to be vigilant because Satan, Satan is still roaming around. He haven't been cast in hell yet. God wants his people to be vigilant. We are supposed to be representatives of the Most High God. We have to start acting like that. We got to do it in the church and say, charity starts in the home. If you can't do it in here, I know you're not doing it out there. And if you can't do it while you're down here, you're not going where you say you want to go. This morning we we want to talk about beware of the Antichrist. I know. Beware of the Antichrist spirit because he is real and not only him. See, Satan, we don't have to just worry about Satan, but Satan have what they call it. Satan have spirits just like God have his angels. Satan have his angels also. Paul explains it in Ephesians 6 and 12. He says, but we wrestle not against Against flesh and blood. I tell you, it's not the people, but I just told you it's what's in. The people with the people have allowed to come on the inside of them. Sin is like a cancer. It will eat you up. It will tear you down. It will destroy you. And it will stomp on you. And it will spit you out. Right. 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 Paul said to be wrestled not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against rulers in high places. We wrestle with wickedness. Spiritual forces. That's what we wrestle with, church. We have to beware of the Antichrist spirit. The Antichrist spirit is a spirit that is not of Christ. It's a spirit that will tear a church down. It's a spirit that will come in between relationships. 
It's a spirit that will lead you in the wrong direction. It's a spirit that will cause you to despise one another. It's a spirit that will remove love from your heart and replace it with hate. Church, we gotta beware. You have to beware of the Antichrist spirit because that spirit is going to be among us. But the good news is God has given us the Holy Spirit. He said that we can withstand the wiles, the wiles of the devil. That's why we have to put on the whole armor of God. You can't be half dressed in this warfare. You got to put on the whole armor of God and all the armor the front. You don't have to worry about the back because while you're marching forward, God got your back. God got your back. You don't have to worry about that. Satan can't do you anything as long as you believe. I don't know about you, but my Bible tells me that if you resist the devil, see that's the problem. Some of us don't resist. We allow Satan to come in and have a field day. Have a field day with us, and then when he finished toying with you, when he finished playing with you, then he off to the next person. That's why the Bible says that the strong have to bear the infirmities of the weak. And when he's talking about those that are weak in faith, and guess what? You might be strong today, and you might be weak. You might be weak tomorrow. You might be weak in the next couple of minutes. My God, my God. Because guess what? That's what Satan comes in at. That's where Satan attacks. He attacks the weak. If you ever watch Wild King and these animals that prey on, on each other, they always go after what? They always go after the weak. Right now. Criminals, when they break in, they always what? They always break into the easy one. They always rob the easy targets. We gotta be vigilant, be God's people. We gotta watch out for the Antichrist. What an antichrist spirit. John says in verse 18, John says, little children. Now we know that they're not little children. See, we are God's children. God has entrusted you to me. If I say little children, don't get offended. John is embracing his readers with love. I just finished telling you that, God. That Jesus loved him. Yeah. And John had love in him. And John is expressing that same love that is in him outwardly to God's people. Oh my God. John says, little children, he said, it is the last time. Time being translated, it is the last hour. Or the, the last days when John is telling him, I need you to be vigilant because the time is going to come in the last days where they're going to have false teachers in the church. They're going to have people come to church pretending to be Christians, but they don't have any fruit of the Spirit within them. He's telling you what you need to look out for in the last days. Talking about the Antichrist. Just like God had disciples. Guess what? Satan got disciples too. The Antichrist. Spirit Church John said we're living in the last days. And he said, Ye have heard. You have heard because he's telling you. See, when you read God's word of all your getting, the Bible says to get some understanding of what God's word is saying. And don't lean to your own understanding. Acknowledge God. And you don't have to worry about directing your own path because God. He said in the last days that the Antichrist spirit is going to come. Satan is trying to get as many souls as he can. We as disciples of Christ are trying to save as many souls as we can. We don't have time. All right, now. We got to know who we are. And whose we are. When you recognize that Antichrist that antichrist spirit, you gotta pray for that person. 
You can't say, I'm going to leave that person alone. You got to pray for that person. Sister Mitchell said it well when she presented the, the robes to, to Dr. Zeno and myself. He said, this is a hospital. Guess what? Everybody here, you're not wearing. We all sit in to be healed. Yeah. Glory. Even to be healed. See, people, some people come think they got it all together. No, we come here to get it together. Because yeah. if we had it all together, there ain't no need for us coming. If we was all righteous, if we was all righteous, there's no need, and God said it's only begotten Son. Son Jesus. But y'all said that the Antichrist shall come, and he said, There shall be many. That's telling me, guess what? You're just looking out for a saint, you're looking out for one, but you got to look out for his imps too. Talking about the Antichrist. People coming. From the outside on the on the inside, infiltrate yes. God's church pretending to be to be Christians, but they don't have no love. Yes. They don't have no love. Yes. And they called the infiltrate, and then they came to God's church, not to hear the word, but they came to, to spectate. Yes. They came to church not to hear the word of God, but they come to cause confusion in God's house. God said that I'm not the of Jesus Christ. They brought their worldly mind on the inside of God's church. They brought their worldly attitudes on the inside of the church. They brought their worldly ways of doing things on the inside of the church. Church, we can't come in God's house. And handle each other no any, no any kind of way. Jesus, when he was down here, even his adversary, he didn't handle them any kind of way. He always handled them with the what? With the scripture. See, when he was led into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit and he had to deal with Satan, guess what? He dealt with Satan with what? With the scripture, with the word of God, the Bible that I read says that the word of God is power unto salvation. Yeah. There's power in the, oh, yeah. in the word. In the word. Yes, it is. We have to do things God's way. Yes, we have to handle business the way Jesus handle business. You hear me in my closing. He went around not hurting people, but he went around doing what? Nothing but good. Your yeah. spirit don't dwell in no, no unclean places. When we come in God's house, we have to beware of the Antichrist. Antichrist spirit. The Bible says that a man let a man examine himself. Try the spirit by the spirit because every spirit is not of God. You've got to know who you are in Christ. Paul says it like this. He said, therefore, if you be in Christ, he said, you are what? You are a new creation. He said, old things, former things, things that you threw with, he said, have passed away. And he said, behold, all things, not some things, not a few things, but all things have been made through. Those that are in Christ, those that know Christ, those that believe in Christ, those that trust Christ, they know how to love. They know how to be patient. They know how to be kind. They know how to be gentle. They know how to be loving. They know how to be long-suffering. They say, if you don't bear the fruits of the Spirit, if your tree is naked, if your tree is not yielded no fruit, the Bible says that it's good. It's good for nothing but to be cut down. Jesus said it this way. In Matthew, he said, let the wheat and let the tear. Don't put them out. Don't throw them out. Don't cast them aside. 
Don't treat them bad. Continue to love. Continue to be gentle. Continue to be kind. Continue to be long suffering. Continue to praise them. Continue to put your arms around them. And he said, when I come back, Christ spirit don't have no power. See, the best way to deal with the enemy is make them a friend. But John said, but, but whosoever keepeth his word in him, verily is God's love perfected. See, God said, if you love me, if you trust me, if you believe in me, if you surrender to me, he said that my love is perfected in you. And when my love is perfected in you, you can let your light so shine. You can be a good representative of mine. You can tell somebody the story. You can make somebody in the world of darkness come into this marvelous into this marvelous life. See, God's word, when it's perfected in you, it will lead you not go anywhere. It won't lead you off course, but it will lead you in all paths of righteousness. Church, when you're a child of God, when you're a born again baptized believer, when you say you've been washed in the blood of the Lamb, you can't have no, you shall not, you won't have that antichrist, the antichrist spirit. But then John says, but, but, but they were not of us because they had an antichrist spirit. That word anti, it's a prefix that means not, means you're not for Christ. Christ said, you either for me or you against me. Church, you've got a choice to make. He said, choose ye this day whom you're going to serve because no man can serve two masters. You're going to love one and you're going to despise the other. But John says, yeah, they came in, but they were not of us. Because if they were of us, they would have stayed with us. But they went out from amongst us. They made it manifest who they really was. That word manifests in the text, it means clear. They made it clear that they never was for us. They never was with us. And they never going to be for us because they were never really with us. See those people that come and, that come and go. See, you just look around. Right we see each other every Sunday. We got to love one another. Because God says to love him with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And then he said, love thy neighbor as you love thyself. And see, when you start able, when you're able to do that, when you're able to get rid of your self-righteousness, when you're able to stop doing things your way, when you're able to start doing things God way, when you're able to get rid of that, that anti-Christ spirit, when you're able to recognize that spirit when it comes in the door, then you get on your knees like Reverend Zeno always say, you don't have to stand up. It's all right if you stand up, but we as Christians, guess what? We got to travel on our knees. Because Satan is still, he's still wrong. Going up and down. Two and four. And he's not wasting no time. 
He's seeing who he can divide. He's seeing how many souls he can take. Church, we got to recognize. We got to be vigilant. We got to stay prayed up. We got to stay on our knees. We got to keep calling upon the name. Oh, yeah. The name of the Lord, like Sister Val said, she decided. Made a decision. Made a choice. Made up her mind. Said she's going to follow. Follow Jesus. He said, for if they had been of us. In other words, if they were one of us. If they were not just calling themselves Christians, but if they were true Christians by the definition of the word Christian, which means to be Christ-like, meaning having the same mindset of Christ, meaning having the same character of Christ, meaning having the same attributes of Christ, being created in the image of Christ. John said they would, they would have no doubt. They'll still be here. They'll still be among us. But they had to leave. Because some of them wasn't meant to be here in the first place. See, this place is for, for God's people. This place is for us to praise God. This place is for us to come for, for a spiritual healing. This place is the place where we come and get uplifted. This place is where we come from to receive God's grace. This place is where we come to recognize God's mercy. See, sometimes you gotta look up and look at the, the beautiful creation that God has made. And then you begin to understand the awesomeness of God. How he carpeted the earth with green grass. How he put the mountains peak so high. How he put the clouds in the sky. How he made the birds the church. How he caused the wind to blow. How he made the trees to sway. How he made the sun to shine. See, when you begin to look up sometimes and understand the awesomeness of God, then you begin to know how to serve God. Amen. But they had an Antichrist spirit. But they went out that they might be made manifest. They made it clear. They knew who they, who they were when they came in. You got to know who you are in here and out there. You are a child of the Most High God. Church, everyone, the Bible says that everyone that says, Lord, Lord, is not going to heaven. Everyone that comes to church is not a Christian. God said, if you love me, you will keep my commands. But see, Jesus said it this way. For the infiltrators, for the imposters, for the one that comes to church that look like us, the ones that come to church that try to act like us, the ones that come to church that praise like us, the ones that come here and pray like us, the ones that come here and sing like us. But they left out from us. See, Jesus said it best when he told the Pharisees and the Sadducees. He said, you serve me with your lips. But your heart ain't straight. You serve me with your lips. But your mind ain't right. You serve me with your lips. But your spirit jacked up. You serve me with your lips. But you don't have no love. You don't have no love in your heart. The Bible says that God is what? God is love. Full of the word. That's so profound. And guess what? It conquers. Conquers all. Love pierces even in the, the darkness of night. You will know my true disciples. And Jesus said this. He said, you will know my true disciples by the way that they love one another. Amen. Church, guess what? It ain't about green. And guess what? It ain't about you either. Amen. But it's all about him. Amen. 
The Bible says that he called us out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Snatched us from death into, thank you, Sister Zeno, into great glory. You got to know who you are and who you are in Christ. See, we can quote scriptures, but it's more than quoting scriptures. It said you got to be ye more than just a hearer of the word, but you got to be a doer of the word. See, if you really believe in God, if you really love God, if you really trust God, then you're going to try to do what the Bible said. But I thank you for sending this up. Jesus now, I thank you for coming down to more than two generations. I thank you for going around doing nothing but good. I thank for giving sight to the blind. I thank you for causing the death to hear. I thank you for causing the death to speak. I thank you for raising the death. Oh, I thank you. We serve an able God. The earth is lost in the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell. There again, but our Lord and Savior was turned over into the hands of sinful men. People that was like us. We got to remember that we were enemies of God at one time. But to those that believe, he gave them power to become sons, daughters, of the Most High God. Amen. Next time you see the Antichrist spirit, I want you to close your eyes. I want you to bow your head. I want you to pray. Pray that God remove that spirit. Say, if one of your brothers or sisters offend you, the Bible didn't say turn your back on, but your Bible said go to them. And they say, if they will, what? If they will hear you. Yeah. They say, you what? You gain the brother. But if they don't hear you, bring two or three. Amen. Amen. And God says, when there's two or three assembled in my name, I'll be gone in a minute. But some people can handle that. Some people leave the church. Some people go back out because they came the wrong way. While they was here, they was doing the wrong thing. And when they left, they were still wrong. We got to pray for them. But our Lord and Savior was turned over into the hands of sinful men. He was drawn from judgment hall to judgment hall. Delight on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus said that I am the way, I am the truth, and I'm the life. But nobody wants to hear the truth. But I come to tell you this morning, the truth hurts. I'll tell you like Dr. Zeno told me, he says, it's good medicine. It might taste bad. <laughs> but it's good for you. You might not want to hear what the preacher said. But it's good for you. If it's the word of God. And it's coming from this book. It's the power. Of salvation. To the believer. How can he hear. Without the preacher. And how can he go. <laughs> unless they were sin. job ain't for everybody. Amen. And it's job ain't for no anybody. Amen. God said that I give you pastors. Not who you want. Yes, all right. Not what you want. Yeah. But what you need. All right. I give you pastors after my own heart. But it took my Lord and Savior. And he hung him high. And he stretched him wide. And he nailed him in his hands. And he nailed him in his feet. 
He said, all you got to do is just lift me. And he said, if I be lifted, I'll draw all men. Salvation is to all that accept. But you have to believe. You have to diligently seek him. Because he's a reward to those that seek him. And they say he hung from the sixth to the ninth hour. And he said not a moment word. Could have called 10,000 angels. But he did like Paul, he stayed on course. Kept the faith in his father. Prayed for his enemies. And when he got to the point where he said it's finished. He hung the head in the locks of his shoulders. And he gave up the ghost. They pierced him in his side. They wanted to make sure. I could see Satan smiling. I could see Satan say, oh, it's over. But they took him off that old rugged cross. And he laid him. <laughs> and the bar up to him. And he stayed there. He didn't get up. All oh, they cried. I said, he stayed there. All that crap. He stayed there. All he said. I say he laid there. All night said. But I have to tell you early. Early? I say it was early. Early one Sunday morning. 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 He got out.
You feel it coming on. Yes. You recognize yes. the Antichrist spirit. It's not the person, but it's what's in the person. Pray for your sister and brother. Amen. Love your sister and brother. Because God is love. Oh, yes. May God bless you and may God keep you.
a few. Oh, yeah. right. All right, the preacher and his son said Jesus got up. All right. Stayed in the grave. Oh, yeah. The Bible says he got up in his grave. Took off his grave clothes. Took them off. Neat man. Hold them up. Lay him down. Said, I can't stay here. I stay in this grave. My people won't be saved. I got to get up. When he got up, Oh, yeah. Uh, 